Welcome back. You are watching Politically Correct with me, Maya Hayakawa. Today we are discussing a very controversial issue. Uh, many people have different thoughts about it. We're talking about transgenderism. And today I have a guest here with me. Her name is Latoya Johnstone, who says she has been stuck in the wrong body her whole life. Uh, she's been shedding light in terms of some of the challenges, some of the issues that transgenders go through right before the break. And uh, now, uh, just welcome back to the show, first of all. Thank you. Um, you described a lot of negative feelings, a lot of uh, negative experiences that you've had growing up, feelings of rejection, mm -hmm. feelings of suicidal um, ideations and all of that. What really kept you going um, all, throughout all that period? Okay, um, thank you so much for the question. Uh, basically, what kept me on going, first of all, I can really just say that it's God and also like given uh, like too much of everything I was going through. It was either a point whereby I was either supposed to break or actually make it in life, but it seems like I was never born to break, just like Whitney Houston's son. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, let me say the most uh, horrible part of it was when I got seriously raped because um, the people who did it thought maybe if they could have done that, maybe it could have like changed me or could have made me know like what I'm really, uh, as in what I'm really exposing myself into, because they found me like, you know, you are still a virgin, you are still a young child, you just finished high school and uh, somebody does that to you. It was the most tormenting part of my life to an extent that um, I turned around and everybody talking, so it really became so sad. But thank God I had friends who kept on telling me it is okay. You really need to look beyond this. I went to MSF France and then they took me through the session that took like around one year. And then after that, I, after all this, I chose to go to school whereby I was studying. I, I chose to take uh, counseling psychology for me to be able to understand the things. Okay, I went there not because I wanted to learn, but it's because I wanted to try and help other people. But in the process, it kept on like helping me and I was realizing a lot of things and those people were taking me, my teachers were taking me through the sessions. So these ones from what I got from MSF really helped me to open up and see things differently and also from uh, Catherine Obura, who is also anti-Kato. I call her anti-Kato because she's always been in my life most of the time. She is the one who provided me with a place to stay sometimes. She could like help pay for me my school fees when the family is not jumping in, or even fair, or when I'm stuck in school and I cannot come back to school, I cannot come back home, I could call her. So these are the kind of people who made me realize that in as much as 10,000 people in the world are against something, remember there is always one person who is saying it is okay. Even if they do not not relate with it or accept it or whatever, but I think it's because of the situation. This there is always somebody who reaches out to you. Just like the book of the Bible tells like this about like LGBTI and then on the other side talking about love. So it's you as a person to choose where you want to be. And remember Jesus loves everybody. All right. Um now I I wanted to ask in terms of your transition, do you think that you would like to go through the physical transition? Would you like to take hormones? Would you like to do top surgery, bottom surgery? How far mm -hmm. um, into it are you thinking you'll go? Okay. The fact that I'm a half Lua and a half South African, I don't really think if I really need like a behind, like a Botox, because <laughs> Geez, not in a bad way. I don't brag, but I have the most amazing behind ever. Like sometimes I look at myself on TV or I check on the photos that I've taken and I'm like, oh Lord Jesus Christ, you created this human being like a sterling pound. <laughs> Who doesn't want to use a sterling pound in the whole entire world? So uh, it really dif uh, it's different with the different transgenders. Mm -hmm. Some of them would really love to go through everything and it and, and change like their sexuality, become women, 
or actually like for them to be more comfortable in them. According to me, just like I told you, I believe so much in Jesus and I believe so much in God. So I think uh, as I was born, it just happened that I was born in the wrong body, which really happened. I wish like God was there to help me understand why it happens, but it cannot, you understand? So the best thing that I'm, I do is just that when I want to be a woman, we've got like Brazilian weaves, we've got everything that we can really do. I know how to press my chest and then like the woman comes in, Plus, like, apart from that, we've got the people like, um, people like RuPaul Drag Race, whereby you get to see what you can really do for you to feel comfortable. Uh, so that is what I can really do, because I don't want to change so many things uh, to an extent that people will ask me that if you were comfortable in your own skin and you'd love to become the other person, then why is it that you are doing this, like changing things like that. I don't have any problem with the other people changing their sexuality, but with me, the only thing I need to change is do my makeup nicely and be there and get back to the woman and put on a dress just like you and make sure that I kill it more than you. So that when I stand and I'm there, I'm a woman, I flip my hair like any other person. Um, you know, I, I, I like that you highlighted that because people <laughs> assume that, you know, transgenderism, people aren't mm -hmm. aware that people are different. Even mm -hmm. transgenders are different. Mm -hmm. Some people would want to go through the full extent of mm -hmm. getting the top surgeries, bottom surgeries. Yeah. Some just want to do hormones. Other people mm -hmm. just want to cross-dress. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like you're two different people? Are there, is there, are there two different people being that there's the male side and the female side? How are you able to reconcile the two? Or uh -oh. how, what is that like? Um, what is really happening is that um, in as much as you are transgender, there is always um, a jiggle dangling between there, between the Red Sea, you understand? Yes. <laughs> so it all depends with how somebody else, like for example, other countries, like in the Europe, you know, they can go to the doctor and everything can be done and then you just give a consent and things are done like that. But here is the situation whereby I am in Africa and this is Kenya and I don't have like so much money for me to go and change everything. Do you understand? If you so, had the money so, to, to, to do all the surgeries and all that, would you do it if you had the money? Mm, if I had the money. And if I, you had the accessibility and there was mm -hmm. a doctor here and there was a doctor here that was open enough to, mm -hmm. to do the surgery, would you do mm -hmm. it? Um, that one is really a good, a good question. And my answer is, um, let me say, a yes and a no. It will really feel like a confusion, but according to me, let me bring it to you guys. First of all, I believe in God, and God said, I created you in my own image. Mm -hmm. And God says that I do not make mistakes. Mm -hmm. In as much as it is really controversial to an extent that I want to become a woman, and then God created like a man, the only thing that is really happening here is that this is how I feel and God created me knowing very well in as much as I created you in my own image, I am throwing you down on earth whereby you are going to become a human being. And as a human being, this is what you are going to go through. So for that reason, because I believed so much in God, I wouldn't, the only thing I would do is just like maybe grow my hair, make sure it's long, like do my whatever. The only thing I can lose is just maybe the beards growing and uh, then uh, apart from that, the rest of the part of it, I can just maintain. I need to just do good squats so that I make sure that my behind stands still like noon. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and I make sure that at least, because I have like a very good body, as in it's proportionally like coming out. Like when I was growing, there used to be even like, like some tendons right inside my boobs and you could touch them and they were painful and you see like it's coming big and growing. I wish like I could show on TV, but unfortunately I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> so these are some of the things. So I don't think if I really need to like add and make them become big and things like that. I think I'm comfortable with who I am. The only thing that I need to appreciate or take in is that I am a female and if you like it, it's okay. If you don't like it or you feel like confusion or something like that, remember how you feel, I appreciate.
All right, I have a question uh, because you've talked about it, you know, the African situation, the Kenyan situation. Yeah. And we're seeing lately more and more um, a lot of awareness is being raised in terms of the gay and the lesbianism community. Mm -hmm. Um, do you feel in some way transgenders are kind of lost? Because we hear the talk so much, you know, exactly. gays and lesbianism. Mm -hmm. um, transgender, not so much. Do you feel uh, it's kind of left out here? Truth be told, do I feel? Of course, yes, I feel. You tell me from the moment that we really started talking about wherever so many people really think that the transgenders are actually the gays. Do you understand? Yes. And it is really a huge confusion. And I think this comes along because of the fact that um, most of them are, 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 are most of, uh, uh, as in most of them fall, uh, actually all of them fall under the umbrella of the LGBTI. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So LGBT, everybody, people do not have good information about how to differentiate between a transgender mm -hmm. and, and, and a gay person. Do you understand? So I think we've been left behind to an extent that so many people confuse and tend to think that gay people are transgenders mm -hmm. or transgenders are gay. Mm -hmm. So there need to be uh, maybe an education whereby they need to be told that transgenderism is this and gayism is this. Do you understand? Because a trans exactly because a transgender would really go and change everything about them and they become that woman that they want to be. Or if you are a female, they need to change most of the things until you become the man that you want to be, as in how you feel so that you become satisfied. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so many people really confused and not so many people talk about it. Although I love the fact that there is Audrey Mbugwa who is really fighting so hard to highlight and to bring to people's attention how different it is and how we've been left behind. And, 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 and I really congratulate him for that to an extent that I feel that most transgenders now will really come out and then step in and even like support him and, and jump in or come together. Um, I love that you've brought that out. You've brought out, um, you know, people who are coming out publicly. <laughs> the other day we had uh, Jackson Irungu who <laughs> made um, headlines all over the <laughs> country because yeah. he publicly came out and said that uh, he's transitioning <laughs> into becoming a woman. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on him coming out so publicly and so open? Go for it, baby boo, and do not even think about anything. It is your life and it is all about yellow. You only live once. So do anything that you know you can do because what if you die and then you still end up like in the in hell? Do you understand? Why can't you just have it all fabulous here? Because I remember very well that when my photo came out with my wig and I was pretty like vogue Italian woman rich with like well done makeup and I'm magical and it's trending and I'm just like hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, the queen has arrived. The real transgender is here. You know, I saw Jaffa commenting on me and Jaffa is like the mother, my mother in the fashion industry because Jaffa is the first person who ever trained me during the during the, 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 the fashion show that I first did, although as a male. So when I saw this and I, she was writing like fabulous things about me and I'm just like, oh, thank you, mama. This is really nice. Then the following week, was it the following week or the following day or like a few days after my photo, I was just like, mm hmm I saw Jay like posting her photos and like applying makeup and transitioning. And if you could see, Jay did not put on weave and whatever and things like that. We keep it classy, natural, magical, hallelujah. And yes, sweetie, we are sexy to an extent that we can even make coffee sexy too. <laughs> but then, okay, um, what do you think she was hoping to achieve by coming out publicly like that? Exactly. It means that you have fought a good fight, but people do not see. So it reaches a moment whereby you realize that, yes, everybody goes to school, but I remained in class three. Does that define my future? 
I need to be somebody. So I'm pretty sure that Jaffa had gone through a lot just like me and she just woke up one day and she said, enough is enough, I am coming out. Not because Chris Jenner came out, not because Latoya came out, not because Audrey Mbugwa came out. This is my fight. I know where the shoe is really pinching me and this is what I'm going to do. So she came out because she wanted to come out and she wanted to live the life that she needs to live. And if the inches were three, I'm pretty sure that that girl is really making the inches become six or even ten. And she can strut on them just like a queen. All right. Um, well, we need to take a short break. No but right. when we come back more with Latoya Johnston, let us know what your thoughts are on this show today. Find us on Facebook. Uh, Politically Correct Kenya is where you will find us. We're on Twitter as well at PCorrectKE. Stay tuned here at TVC.